hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele i am so excited to be sharing this amazingly tasty crunchy and a little healthier version of our famous achamo or ching ching recipe this one right here is baked and you are going to love it let's get started in a bowl i'm going to add my flour to that i'll add some sugar salt baking powder nutmeg and some butter flavor which is optional you can use any type of flavor um, of your choice next i'm going to add in some butter and i'm going to mix until it is well incorporated at this point i'll set it aside and i'll prep my milk i'm using evaporated milk to that i'll add some of this pineapple extract that i brought from ghana and also a bit of food coloring not a lot just a little bit and this is very very optional but with this when you make it around the holiday time you can make it in all different colors and it will look just beautiful then we will add this into our flour mix I'm then going to go ahead and mix it until everything comes together before I get my fingers in and I'm just going to knead it into a beautiful soft dough if the milk is not enough you may add about a teaspoon or two to your dough to get it to the texture that you like or you can rinse the inside of your cup and add it so mine is looking a bit stiff so I'll add just drops of water until I have reached my desired consistency or texture all right y'all so this is perfectly nice soft and beautiful so we are ready to start rolling and ripping <laughs> At this point just gather the kids you know let them rip it or any family member that you have around because you know you have a lot around this time of year and you just rip it and drop it just like this or you can seal it to make it a bit smoother so rip drop rip drop no rolling no cutting nothing this is a perfect time to spend with your kids friends and family just having fun doing this then we're going to bake it in a 350 degree preheated oven until it is nice and golden brown that is 350 degrees fahrenheit so let's get it in the oven all right and then in about 10 minutes we bring it out and we just move it around because otherwise one side will brown and the other side will not you can use a spatula for this i've been using my fingers and i'm okay with it but i don't want anybody to burn themselves all right so once you move everything around you want to put it back in the oven this i want it to be very very crunchy so i baked it for a longer time because at this point it is ready but the more you bake it the crunchier it'll become and i get rid of the parchment so i'll be able to stir it so i'll put it in for the last time you can lower the heat and let it just dehydrate at this point okay yeah so there you have it it is done it is ready like i said you can bake it to your desired consistency the longer you bake it the crunchier it'll be but bear in mind that you have to keep an eye on it stirring periodically so that it will bake evenly all around and that's it bag them up give them out as gifts and if some stick together look how easy it is to just um bring it apart so don't worry about it sticking it'll be just perfect it's so crunchy i absolutely love this and it is a little more healthier than the fried one <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Sweet Ajili. Thank you so much for subscribing. And to the sweet team, I love you all so, so much. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of family is life's greatest 
blessing. And guys, ke unamini uchemi sweet ma ha bo Bye y'all.